Okay. Well, I'm here in my workshop, my new workshop, and uh, I've, uh, I've I've done a video on that before. Um, just looking around, but uh, I brought my wheels into the workshop, so um, here they are, and uh, seeing them all together and sort of looking over my experiences on them since I started learning this hobby, I thought I'd make a short video about uh, learning to ride an EUC and specifically um, your choice of machine um, when you first come to this hobby. Um, and from a perspective, not from, you know, a youngster, 20s, early 30s, <laughs> if you consider yourself a youngster in your early 30s, um, but as a, a chap of 65. Now, when I first uh, become aware of these machines, uh, I thought, you know, I'd love to ride one of those, but I'm thinking, you know, in my 60s now, is this really a good idea? Or have I just left it too late? Um, and the, the answer is, no, I haven't left it too late. They're an absolute, uh, they, they are a lot of fun and it's well worth the effort. But in learning to ride them and riding uh, a number of different machines, I have made some observations on the way. So if you're new um, and you're of an age, you know, um, I guess even if you're younger, a lot of this still applies. But um, I would give you a, a take on uh, when you're picking out your first EUCs, maybe a couple of things you should be thinking about. So we're going to start off with the 9Bot 1E Plus. Now this is an older machine and this is what I learned on. If you um, go and look at some of my other videos, you can see my my attempts at learning to ride an EUC on this. Now, in buying this to learn on, that was number one good idea, thoroughly recommended. This machine was cheap to buy because it's, it's old, it's slow, it's nimble, and uh, you won't break your neck when you fall off the thing, which you will do a huge number of times when you first start out um, and even now I still ride this machine because you can throw it in the back of the car pick out one hand you pick it up with your little finger um, very very useful those last mile and if you're in and around people it's not intimidating people are not worried when they see you approaching on this thing um, it's still only the only uh, machine I can ride backwards. I'm trying to ride the uh, one of the King Songs backwards and I can do it a little bit, but not as easy as this. So, yeah, if you're learning and uh, this, is, this is the machine, I mean, or a similar to it. One of the small machines, the, the Emotions, um, some of the smaller, lighter machines, just, just, just the same. Um, it make learning uh, a nice experience and whatever you move on to you will um, continue to enjoy riding a small light machine, what can I say? So I, I haven't actually got two of these. <laughs> so the next machine, uh, well the one next to it is my Big O Master. Now this is the complete opposite of uh, my um, 9 bot 1e plus this thing is a beast it's uh, 50 mile an hour you know conceivably you can get 60 mile of range out of it it's got suspension it is this machine the the 9 bot is very easy to ride the master is the most difficult to ride and um, of my machines and the reason it's difficult is two main reasons it's it's the weight it's the mass of the thing and it's the high foot plates which makes um, getting on the thing um, more difficult so don't go buying yourself a Bigo Master um, straight out of the box to learn on 
I'm not saying you can't learn on a Bigo Master, but I'm just saying don't. Um, you know, you might put yourself off this hobby. You will certainly be making life very difficult for yourself. And um, you've got the potential to hurt yourself as well. The machine will certainly be falling over a lot, which isn't going to do it any good at all. So, yeah, leave things like this to later. So, so my next machine I'm going to talk about is the Kingsong 16X. Now, this is the second machine I bought. It's a 16-inch wheel, and it is a brilliant wheel. Um, you will do 50 miles of range, which you won't need when you start, but um, it's surprising me once you're riding um, how quickly you, you start getting range anxious. So, yeah, this is a really nice machine to ride. It's my next easiest ride after the 9 bot and uh, it's got relatively low foot, foot plates, it's capable of 30 mile an hour and it's good range and it's a joy. Um, I tend to ride this on the road, it hasn't got suspension, you have to be a little bit aware, um, it's got that 16 inch wheel with no suspension, uh, be aware of the road surfaces um, because if you hit ruts and drains and tree stumps and anything nasty and you're not ready for it, um, it, it can throw you off. So you will learn that quickly. You'll get, you'll get your scares when you hit that unexpected bump and your foot moves on the foot plate, but that keeps your knees bent. It keeps you into good habits. It gets you into good habits of riding and it keeps you observant. So, yeah, very good machine. Um, you could learn on this. It's, um, it's going to fall over a lot. You'll scuff it up, but yeah, whatever. So, moving on next, uh, my S18. Now, I love this machine. You will hear people saying things about voltage lag and they say nasty things about the S18, but I tell you, this machine is lighter than the 16X. It's an 18-inch wheel and it's got suspension. So this is my off-road wheel. So I live in Cornwall. You've got the coast paths. You've got rough tracks. You know, this is light. It is nimble. And with the suspension, you can run over anything. Um, still 30 miles an hour. Not as much range as the 16X, but still good for 26 miles and uh, I love this machine and I still ride it a lot and for off-road yeah S18 every time every time because it's it's great uh, a lot of people using this to commute um, the foot plates are a little bit higher than the 16x which makes it a little bit more challenging to ride or to learn to ride um, but once you get used to it you you'll get into this machine pretty quickly yeah very good choice and then the master so what are we talking about the master well we're talking about a 50 mile an hour machine potentially uh, 60 miles of range it's got a 20 inch wheel it's heavier it tends to be stable it, this is my road range speed machine um, if I want to ride distances, this is the one I'm going to pick up. If I'm on the road, this is the one I tend to pick up. Um, if I want to go a bit faster, this is the one I pick up. The downsides, apart from the cost of buying it, <laughs> um, yeah, more challenging to ride. The high foot plates, the extra weight, um, yeah, it's, it's the most difficult to um, ride but later on when you've got experience on other machines um, yeah the, you'll be up to the challenge to do this but not to learn on like I said I think you possibly could um, but you won't enjoy it um, and um, yeah so that's it really those are my machines um, perspective from a 65 year old riding EUCs um, 
I don't do as many miles as some others. I'm certainly not as capable a rider as the majority of people you see on the YouTube videos doing astounding things. But I get by and I enjoy myself and I, you know, I've ridden these machines. Um, well, for 30 miles at a time is not unusual for me these days. Um, so, yeah. Um, so I recommend the hobby. Um, on learning in general, um, more difficult to learn than a bicycle, I would say. I, I had these, maybe you learn how to do ride a bike as a child, but um, I had kind of the feeling that once you've cracked um, a bike, once you've, you know, you've, your dad's not hanging on to you anymore and you're, you're kind of wobble your way off, you've kind of, yeah, you, you, you get, you've kind of learnt it. Um, EUCs are not like that. Everything that you want to do on this machine, you're going to have to learn. So, yeah, to be able to ride it in a straight line, yeah, you're going to have to learn. To turn, you're going to have to learn. You want to turn sharp, you're going to have to learn that as well. Um, so, carving, going down curbs, up curbs, um, potentially coming to virtual standstills or stopping even and setting off again, just mounting the thing confidently, getting it off the thing confidently, um, riding backwards later on. Um, you know, people ride these things around tight figures of eight round tight turns and um, pulling up as an emergency stop, you know, riding at speed. Um, these things won't just give it away. You have to edge forward on these things. Little by little, you have to learn. Um, and basically, it's through practice and um, challenging um, the envelope of what you know to improve all the time. It, it won't give it away. Uh, you, you, you have to practice and you have to learn. Time on the machine is a big one. So anyway, I'm starting to whistle now. So that's it from me. I uh, hope this has been helpful to anybody who's beginning or just at the start and thinking about getting into this hobby. I thoroughly recommend it. You will go places in your areas and beyond that you would never have done had you not had one of these machines. Uh, in a lot of ways, they are very convenient if, if you're prepared to put in the effort to be able to learn to ride it properly. So, okay, thank you for watching. Until the next one, bye-bye for now.